Yo, 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 everybody, this is Narcoleptic Cheeto, we're in another episode of Modded Minecraft. And today, I just want to see how much... Okay. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to continue with our mob farm. And our mob farm is going to be, like, right over there, like we said in the last... Or the end of the last episode. So, but we need some stuff. As I was talking in the last episode, I realized that we need like conveyors to make sure that the mobs move and especially if we're going to do endermen they don't need to hit water so they need to not teleport um they're blah, we're gonna need let's see we're gonna need lots of stuff basically um we're gonna need hoppers or vacuum hoppers I guess that's the only thing I really know what can oh there's a vacuum chest um oh this that's really good uh, item vacuum I, I forgot about these <laughs> I'll be honest like iron chest and a pulsating crystal pulsating crystal is pulsating iron surrounding a diamond Pulsating iron can be made from. Why are there like two recipes? What? Molten iron resonant ender, which is, I think, ender pearls, right? Yeah. Huh? Um. No, that can't be right. Pulsating iron. Pulsating iron. Nuggets? No. Oh, yeah. The... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the ingots can be made from other things. Oh, God. That scared the crap out of me. So it's iron and an ender pearl. Yo, that's expensive. Okay, is that any better? No, it's just the same there. Okay. Um, so basically, I mean, it's only one ender pearl that I need for that. A vacuum hopper is good too. Let's see, hold shift. Pulls nearby items into its inventory. Yes. But can it export items from its inventory? Okay, let's, uh, vacuum hopper is a hopper, obsidian, and an eye of ender. That we can do pretty easy. It's also one, one ender pearl, and I know how they work, <laughs> and I also know they have, like, um, buffers and stuff. I think these are really good. I think these can actually pull through walls, which makes them really, really nice. Um... And we might switch to these later on. I just, uh, I don't think. We don't have the room to, like, mess up. So, let's, let's get that. We need that. And we're going to need a hopper. So, let's get that. And let's get this guy. And we're also going to need an ender chest. This is the other part. Um, these guys cost quite a bit. They Each one costs an ender pearl, right? And we only have like six. But I think we can make them um, if we can get some wool. Um, what's our string situation look like? Oh, it's not bad. It's, it's not great, but it's not bad bad so one two three four something like that and then we'll go back to ender chests ender chest this one so we need obsidian and all that stuff one two that's all I'm doing right now again because we have very little supplies in the way of uh, in terms of ender pearls that's why we're doing this we only have four ender pearls left so these things are really cool you can color code them and you can i've been using these since i i basically started playing minecraft on modded right and when i did that first modded series i started off with these kinds of ender chests and let me tell you it was amazing and i've always liked this type of ender chest ever since 
it it's really good for customizing a bunch of different stuff and on a server you can like throw a diamond on them and it makes them personal but any color combination you can think of and since there are 16 colors it's a lot um, you can set up all kinds of different arrays like what we'll probably wind up doing is putting like um, an like a miner somewhere and then we'll make after the miner we'll we'll put an inner chest on that and then like all its ores will go into the the inner chest and all that will get uh, processed versus uh, with pulverizers and redstone furnaces um, and you know we can have one for the mob farm and the mob farm one can go into just the straight storage or something like that so you know it's really powerful and I do believe this chunk over here is going to be a really tall tower. Hello, creeper. Trying to sneak up on my stuff. Let's see if I hit him from here. This is probably the worst ranged weapon ever. I know I can make some shuriken with Tinker's Construct and make them absolutely amazing. So that's what I want to do eventually, but right now we're focusing on one thing at a time okay so we got that and it dropped some experience hello creeper you know what drive by oh not drive by oh it it died it, it I got scared I was like no it's gonna blow oh it just completely died one hit kill okay this is why I want to create dark steel stuff this is also dark steel. It can hold a charge. The boots hold a charge. And I think I want it for these things. You can upgrade them with all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, you can do it with Tinker's Construct too in a different kind of way. But uh, you can't really charge Tinker's Construct. And I, I really enjoy that part of the dark steel stuff. Okay. So let's see. We can... We gotta clear this part out, which I will do in a little bit. Um, we also are going to need to apply redstone signals. And I want to use Ender.io stuff for that. Dang it, Enderios. Oh, yeah. Let's try down just down here, doing uh, at Ender.io. They have, oh, uh, you know what I can do? I can do conduits. I think that's what they're called yes so energy redstone conduit we need redstone alloy which you get by making oh it's only an alloy smelter Ooh, that's silicon and redstone okay and then conduit binder which is conduit binder composite which is gravel clay and sand that's not terrible um but i think it said what oh one makes two okay that's actually really not terrible uh this could be difficult because we actually have to make a an alloy smelter at this point and that is stone eh, simple machine chassis grains of infinity oi oi fey Okay. Uh, it's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. All right. Well, we'll come back to that because we don't need it straight away. Oh, what we do need are conveyors. Conveyors. Convey. Oh, actually, I don't think this is the one I wanted. We could do white conveyor belts. Uh, let's see insertion I actually don't think that's what I want it to be hmm what are these conveyor belts conveyors will push any entities to the direction they are facing they come on different colors and verticality they can be upgraded by right clicking them with glowstone dust or probably other things okay um that's not oh i think it's called vector 
vector or something? Vector plates? Yeah. So we make vector plates with iron, slime balls, stone, and sugar. And then you can make fast vector plates with the regular vector plates and dark sugar, which is wither dust, which we have some, and some sugar. And I think we can... And the extreme is made with a uh, wither dust blocks. Okay, do we, how much wither dust do we have? Probably not a lot. Seven. Okay. Mm, we're definitely gonna have to take a trip to the Nether, aren't we? Okay, we're gonna need starting off at least probably just the regular vector plates. Maybe these hats. Oh, that's questionable. Each one would make... Uh, so, 8 would make a stack of 64, and that would give me 8. Okay. Alright, how much of this do I have? Basically everything but the, what, the sugar? And you can make sugar in a lot of different ways, I do believe. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, crusher. Wow. Three, if you put it in a crusher, is that the same? Like if you put it in a pulverizer? No. Okay, squeezer, mechanical squeezer. Whoa, four? Yo, yo ho ho, and a Marioso. Um. Hmm. Do we have any sugar cane? Sugar cane. We have some. Let's take this, and let's go over to our mechanical squeezer. We can make some serious sugar out of this. Um, will it still take it, even though it's full of lava? It will. Oh, it occurs to me that this is not hooked up to the power. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's see. We're going to need... Probably another one of those power cells hooked up to this thing. Probably, yeah. Okay, that's fine. But anyway, we have some sugar. That's good. 22 sugar. 22. Oh, I actually got some extra sugar out of that. Sweet. So, vector plate. Let's make some of this. Oh, one sugar? Ma oh my gosh. Two. Uh, 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 uh. Let's make a stack for now. And this, we don't have the middle thing, but we can make the middle thing. So, like, oh, I thought I got the 60. Oh, I put some in there. Okay. Um, I think that's all we need, actually. Actually. So, this and that. Yeah, let's throw that in there and that in there. Okay. So now we have some fast vector plates. I'm not going to do the other thing with the super fast ones. That's okay. We don't need those. So then we have these now. You know what I can use the other diamond backpack for is like a project backpack. So let's get the backpack back. Ha! <laughs> the, the backpack back. Eh. <laughs> okay, I need to shut up. Um, okay, so we need... We're going to need those. We're going to need our inner chest. We're going to need the vacuum hopper. We're going to need the spawners. Yes, please. Uh, cardboard boxes. Uh, okay, we're just gonna like. Can I just shift? No. Why? Why can I not grab my cardboard boxes? Hey. Um, that's not good. If I can't grab those, if I can't get those out, I am. So, well, why? I can grab that. I can grab this. I can't get my cardboard boxes out. These are my monster spawners. How do I? Um, okay, 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 okay. We can do this. We just need an export bus exporting things into a chest. Right? Like a cardboard box or something. Oh no. I'm gonna be right back. Okay guys, so we're gonna get a little bit back into AE because I can't figure out 
what the heck is the deal with my my bus thing? Oh, jeez. Do I not have any? I don't have any Fluix dust. All right. Uh, Fluix. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's just grab those. And I need a pulverizer. Okay. And I'm just going to put that right there. And we're going to say, actually, that that should be providing power, right? Yeah. So. Okay. Well. All right. That's probably good enough for now. And I need a, uh, I need a logic, I think. Yep. Those. And I need some silicon press silicon. Pressed silicon, something or other, and I need some redstone. Okay, redstone is right. Uh, and I'm going the wrong way because it's right up there. <laughs> we need this, this, and that. And... Okay. What else do we need? We need the, the export bus. Export, by the way, way means from the main system. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to toss that back in there. And we can make an export bus. Fantastic. So we're going to throw this export bus sorry, right on this chest. And then we're going to say, hey, it can only take one thing. So we're going to say cardboard box, which is, oh, right. We're going to pray this works, by the way. If it doesn't work, I'm going to go pick up a spawner and hope and pray why why is this filter not working what that is very strange it didn't do it work until i shift clicked it in there i need a cable of some sort uh that that will work i, I don't really need a fancy one yet Okay, so, eh? It's not working. <laughs> I really need it to work. Why is it not working? Um, okay, I'm going to be right back. Okay guys, so after some quick research on the internet, it looks like all I have to do is create one of these fuzzy crafting cards and it should pull, let's see, it, let's see, I've got a cardboard box in there, monster data, and then I'm going to put a fuzzy card on there, uh, split damage, I don't really care match any yes yes and it's pulling them out oh hallelujah so you put the fuzzy card on there with the cardboard box and it pulls it out you cannot pull them out yourself that actually freaked me out um so i guess you can store them in your system i just wouldn't because it's a pain to pull them out um that card wasn't terribly hard to create it's just like you have to have a cardboard box in here and then fuzzy data meaning that it it'll take basically any form of a cardboard box and put it in here so this is all our monster spawners and we're able to use them now but that was really freaking me out I'll be honest um, so at least we have them and if you have an AE2 system and don't know how to get your your monster spawners out that's it you to make an export bus attach it to a chest and put in a cardboard box in the middle and then put a fuzzy card here and it'll pull it out I had a, a witch spawner block which I was able to do just to make sure but I'm pretty sure it works with any cardboard box so this is all of our monster spawners um, we're it's getting late we really need a a lot of drops of evil and that requires like looting a million let's see this I think is just for endermans provides 
Uh, when powered, Enderman can't teleport once hit. Extra damage and speed. Increased skull and ender pearl drop, drops. But nothing about, like, um, like anything other than Enderman. Like, so if we need a Wither Skeleton to drop drop of evil a bunch, we don't really have a, a good way of doing that, except for our pickaxe. Our pickaxe is actually half decent. I think I accidentally threw it into the system. I did. Yoy. Let me just find my pick. There it is. Found it. So our pick, our pick has has luck three on it and actually does work on on mobs and stuff so we can do that we also need a a mob imprisonment tool so we can like capture one wither skeleton that's one thing we're gonna do while we're there and we we need a portal <laughs> I just noticed we don't really have a portal okay so do we have we should have obsidian. Ooh, we don't have as much as I thought we did. But we have enough to go to... Did I say the end? I meant to the nether. Jeez. You know what I mean. Know what I mean, not what I say. Or, you know, something like that. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So... I don't know if this is far enough away for it to know that it's a different spot or not, but we'll find out. Uh, and since we can fly, this should be quite a bit easier. Okay, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna keep recording, but I think we're gonna do this maybe in a, like a five times time lapse or something while I go and get some wither skeletons. All right, I'll be back in just a bit. Alright guys, so we got several drops of evil uh, doing that little run. We actually got, I don't know, roughly 12, which is good, but not great. Basically what <laughs> that amounts to is that we now have enough to turn all but one of our spawners into disturbed spawners. So that's what we're going to do. Make sure I don't touch the ground. That would be awful. Let's see, let's get all of these guys. Um, if it's a witch spawner, we're definitely doing it. If it's a blaze spawner, I don't even know. 
it like it doesn't tell you what kind of spawner it is so like all right do that and I don't know what okay so right one two three four five six seven and then the two sixteen I have fifteen drops of evil uh, this one's a blaze spawner. I guess we'll do it. Um, really what I'm looking for is making sure that we don't do like too many blaze spawners. Okay, so that's a blaze spawner. That's a witch spawner. I'll take the witch spawner. Um, okay. Let me get some stuff out of my inventory. Because I don't want to accidentally break these things. Blaze... Blaze. I mean, 99% of these, I think, are blaze spawners. And while it's midday, it's fine. Oh, we have a skeleton spawner? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, it, oh, it's another witch spawner. Okay. I, I'm going to take these blaze spawners, too, for the most part. But there's going to be one that I don't take. Okay. Awesome. So now, let's get all the disturbed spawners that we can... And, and like I said, we're going to have one which we don't get to keep, or which we don't get to uh, take with us, but that's fine. Oh, that's... Is that super weird to anybody else? Like that's These are blaze spawners, and so is that one. But, like, these are stacking, and those are not. Oh, that's so weird. I got two witch spawners. Got a couple of... I got a skeleton spawner. I got another blaze spawner there. Another there. None of those stack. That is very strange to me. That's okay. Uh, we don't really need them to stack. Okay, so I want I want the ability to turn this guy into a disturbed spawner at some point. So that's what we're gonna do with that. Um, these. Okay, so what the deal is with restur disturbed? Disturbed, disturbed spawners basically is that they will spawn no matter if you're close to them or not. So it's really good for a mob farm, but if I went ahead and put them out here, they would go ahead and start spawning entities as soon as it got dark enough. And that would be bad. We, we're not in the position to have these start spawning yet. Oh, spider spawner would be pretty nice, but eh. Eh. I'm not like fretting at not having a spider spawner just yet. We have a wither skeleton and a mob um, entangler, no, a mob imprisonment tool, and we have a enderman, enderman and a wither skeleton, both in mob imprisonment tools that we can use later on to make other things like. Well, there, there's a bunch of spawners in the game. I think you can. I think even use the broken uh, stop typing in there it's just gonna always type oh that stinks okay well let's see let's get out of there uses for this stabilized mob spawner we can do some draconic stuff we can use some soul binders um, soul binders are cool because you can basically take a broken spawner and attach anything to it which is might be what we get into eventually. Um, don't know for sure. We might just use the industrial foregoing stuff or whatever it is that's super useful. But anyway, I know I'm pretty sure we're running up on the episode again. Jeez, I really want to get this mob farm done. I think we're really close. Let's see. Let, let's look at it. We have all of our spawners, we have our vacuum hopper, the two inner chests, the vector plates that are not going to be enough. We actually need 81, so we need another 20, no, another 17 plates, I think, and that, will, that should cover us for a 9x9, nine nine, which should be what these disturbed rest spawners spawn in. And we also need dark glass. So dark glass, let's look that up. Dark 
glass is this thickened glass which is sandy glass which is sand and regular glass I bet we can do some of that yeah we have some actually we have a lot of sand if I recall correctly so I need I'm gonna use this thing and just to make it go we and it'll come in over here yeah it'll tick up right there so we can use that glass and we have a stack oh sorry a stack is <clears throat> what I said a stack and then we can use a stack of sand and we make that sandy glass I think so I think that's just sand and glass oh maybe it was two and two yes yes so then we make two stacks of that and then we have to smelt this stuff uh, I really need <laughs> Need an ability. Can I put this stuff here? Oh, it can. I think that will act as like a storage. I really want some augments for this thing. This is going down a rabbit hole, which could be really, really bad for me. Uh, processing speed, gold, and one of those. We could probably do that. <laughs> Augment. Uh, let's see. Processing speed. Let's do that. Oh, actually, let's. Oh. All right. You know what? One. We can do one. <laughs> That's okay. I just. Now it should be going a little bit faster. Probably also using a lot more RF. But it's fine. It's doing its thing. Oh, yeah. It's because of. Wait. What? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, I don't know. Anyway, so that'll get smelting, and we'll catch that in the next episode. So, if you guys liked this episode, please leave a like on it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode!